I'll tell you why the big heart transplant recipient died. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The reason why the pig heart transplant recipient died is because of this. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. And the swine, now first off, let me start off by saying that you're not supposed to be getting heart transplants anyway, you damn devils. Okay? And anybody who goes to get a heart transplant from a pig is a fucking retard. You're a straight retard. And that, that guy was an Edomite anyway. He's gonna be he's gonna be reincarnated back in the kingdom of heaven as a slave anyway. So so I, I don't care about that dude. But I'm breaking this out for edification. Okay. Okay. You're not surgery is not supposed to exist. You're not supposed to be cutting cutting into people bodies. There's not supposed to be autopsies going on. So let's get that out out of the way too. There's not supposed to be any autopsies going on. But 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 here comes the so-called white men, the biblical Edomites, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation and people, doing whatever the fuck they want to do, right? You know, because in the back of their mind, they they think they're God, but but they ain't shit. You're no more than the basis of men, as the holy scriptures call you, damn lepers, cave beasts. But anyways, only a fool would get a heart transplant from a pig. And this is why. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. And the swine, though he divideth the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. He is unclean. He is unclean. Okay, and the swine is a pig. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. You not if you're not supposed to eat these animals, how much more get a heart transplant from them? Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. They are unclean. Unclean. In a matter of fact, let's go to the Blue Letter Bible and let's let us let us let us let us let us let's look up the word unclean. I fucking hate you lepers, cave dogs. Damn cavemen. Okay. So let's look up unclean here. Fucking stupid ass Edomites. You Edomites gotta be the most stupidest people on the planet, man. Who the hell gets a, 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 a heart transplant from a pig? Okay, here it is. Tama. Okay, that's the Hebrew word for unclean. Okay, it says impure. Okay, impure. That's all I need to look up. Okay, <laughs> now let's go to google.com and look up the word stupid because only a stupid ass would get a heart transplant from a pig. Good, the Lord took another worthless cave beast out of the earth. Stupid, having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense. Well, there you go. Common sense can be found in the Holy Scriptures, which you so-called white people do not like to deal with. And I'm really aiming at the so-called elites on down. 
because you're the ones responsible for allowing these damn heart transplants to go on in the first place. <laughs> I was stupid enough to think a pig heart transplant would work. Yeah, I bet that's what he was saying when he was back in the spirit world. That's exactly what he was saying when he was back in the spirit world. Okay. Now this is Job. This is Job basically talking about the biblical Edomites, which are so-called white people, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation, the people. And I'm really aiming at the so-called elites with this. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. They were driven from among men. You know what? Let's just um. Okay. Um. So this is the book of Job, ch chapter thirty, verse one. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision this is talking about so-called white people okay they're the youngest race to be on the planet every other race was on this planet before the nation of Edom came out of the womb of a uh, of a uh, Rebecca so the nation of Edom would be the, the, the youngest race on the planet they're, they're the first race of people to be born on this planet being a full-born leper But now they that are younger than I, the, the nation of Edom, which are so-called white people, starting with so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose father I would have disdained to, to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yeah, because so-called white people, the biblical Edomites, they love having sex with dogs and cats and horses and cows and sheep and lambs and rhinoceros if they have a butthole you better best believe they're going to take their rod their, their, their private part and stick stick it right in the butthole of that animal because they are filthy and nasty like a fucking cave beast yea where to might the strength of their hands profit me because they are worthless in whom old age was perished for want and famine they were solitary fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste who cut up mallows by the bushes because when they lived in caves they used to cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat yeah they used to eat juniper, juniper roots you know brain, brain, brain like a donkey <laughs> they were driven from among men they cried after them as after a thief. Yeah, these, these 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 Edomites were thieves back in the ancient world because they had nothing. All they could do was go around and steal and, and, and desperately hope they got away without getting put to death along with their children and their parents and their wives because these cave beasts were worthless. To dwell in the cleft of the valleys and the caves of the earth. Yeah, in the caves of the earth. That's why you so-called white people are known as cave dwellers. And in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid like a donkey. <laughs> Under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And the word vile means filthy, nasty, disgusting, and abomination, sickening. This is also going into Esau, the progenitor and forefather of the so called white race starting with so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation the people that also includes them fake ass Jewish people in the land of Israel calling themselves Jewish and they are not they are not the real Jews and I'm gonna do a video on that next they are not the real Jews they are descendants of Esau they descend from Amalek who is a descendant of Esau 
Now, this is the book of Hebrews 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Verse 17. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with, with tears. They're the only nation of people that have been promised no mercy from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, or his son, Yahawashai. That means after the nation of Edom served their thousand years of slavery in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be exterminated from off the face of the earth. And not another leprous cave dog shall ever walk this goddamn planet ever. And not another leprous cave dog shall ever walk this planet ever again. There is no hope of salvation for, for, for you Edomites. Get ready for slavery. With that, I'm going to say, Shola Wong is on to the next one.